I met Walter Cronkite in 1987 while doing the America's Cup, the score for the America's Cup with uh, Zakir Hussein. Uh, I invited him to a Grateful Dead concert, and he loved it. Uh, he came back at halftime and he said, I was thinking of a thousand things, to, uh, excuses to leave, but you know, Mickey, I can't think of one now. Uh, you guys really get to people. Uh, thank you, Walter, and uh, he invited me to his house. I went to my home. That's where our love began. For 22 years now. He was a great drummer. He loved to drum. This was one of his last real freedoms. And during one of our, he would say to me very inquisitively, he would say, well, Mickey, when do we know we have the groove? Uh, uh, when do we know, what does it feel like, Mickey? I said, and I try to explain it to him, but it's really hard to explain the power of rhythm and power of music. I said, Walter, you'll know when you get it. And maybe three, four years later, we were playing, and um, uh, he played every uh, day after, before dinner and after dinner, actually. Anybody who walked through the door was a subject to the drum, as Mike Wallace uh, could probably attest to. And um, he looked at me, we were deep in the groove, and all of a sudden he looked at me and said, I got it. <laughs> and that's all he said, I, I got it, I know. Well, Walter, this rhythm was one of his favorite rhythms, and we're going to play it for him, Walter. My dear friend, bon voyage.